To me, the most beautiful word, and I've said this for the last couple of weeks, in the dictionary today, and any, is the word tariff. It's more beautiful than love. It's more beautiful than anything. It's the most beautiful word. Trump does what's good for the U.S., right? And uh, a lot of times that's going to affect us here. And I think you'll see it. I think you'll see it primarily uh, in, in the beef industry coming here as well. We're seeing a shortage of herds in a lot of different places and guys trying to rebuild herds. And uh, we're seeing a lot of protectionism come out of some different activist uh, groups down in the States, making sure that it's U.S. beef that's staying in the U.S. And let's let's be honest. I mean, they're, they're one of our biggest customers, right? Oh, 100 uh, percent. I mean, across industry. And I know that there's, you know, I've got a good buddy that works in steel and this would be really bad news for them. Um, you know, pals that work obviously in forestry and lumber, like in, in associated industries there, it's like these tariffs, like it, it can't be overstated how much of a yeah. big deal it is. Right. Absolutely. And even in our auto industry, right. you know, we're, uh, we're, we're big players in trying to get some EVs on the market and whatnot and trying to make things affordable. And we see some, some huge subsidies going out to a lot of vehicle manufacturers out east. And all of a sudden, if, if one of your bigger customers is going to put a one or a 200% tariff on something that's coming across the border, like he was talking about, if you guys caught uh, what he was going to do, if uh, I think there was a Chinese EV plant that was being built, he was the same podcast, yeah. he was talking about putting one or 200% tariff. John Deere looking to move down into Mexico to start manufacturing things down there where it's cheaper. He said, I'm going to put tariffs on it if it's coming back into the U.S. I mean, part of that, like, <laughs> I'm kind of an anti-John Deere guy, even though we run a bunch of John Deere stuff. I mean, so good on a corporation the size of John Deere is being like, no, actually, you're going to have to stay in America if you want to keep making this work.